The crew gets into the spacecraft and shuts the passageways. There's three hours prior to the undocking. This time is spent on putting on the in-flight spacesuits, making themselves comfortable in their prone beds, and checking all the spacecraft systems. At 4.03 by Moscow time, the Soyuz with the astronauts aboard successfully undocked from the ISS. Observing disconnection with the ISS, best wishes stay. Goodbye, Yuri Ivanovich. See you on the ground. An hour prior to the landing, the helicopters depart and fly directly to the landing region. At the same moment in space, the most curious things are happening. The two-hour undocked flight of the space vehicle has come to an end. And the space propulsion system produces a retrograde burn necessary for the Soyuz deorbiting. Half an hour later, the spacecraft has the habitation module and onboard systems section disconnected. And the crew faces the most dangerous stage of landing. We can observe the passive re-entry capsule. That is what it looks like from inside the capsule. The crewmen feel the impact of sustained acceleration that amounts to 4G, and if the capsule has a free flight trajectory, its level can be even higher. Surrounding the capsule is a plasma sheath, the temperature of which rises up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. That causes a break of the radio link, and in this case, one can enjoy the magnificent view through the window. For several minutes, the descending capsule is approaching Earth's surface with lightning speed. After the re-entry deceleration, the parachutes open. Firstly, the auxiliary one, and then the main one. Here starts the smooth phase of landing, and at that moment, everything is already under control. The capsule with the astronauts is being accompanied by airplanes and helicopters by the landing site. That's a great example of aerobatic maneuvering, to say the least of it, as more than 10 crafts are hugging the ground in the same small area. A strong wind has blown the capsule several kilometers further from the aim point. But in a couple of minutes, almost all the participants of the search and rescue operation have reached it. When we start the evacuation, step aside. The Sergei Volkov is the first one to be helped out of the capsule. Then came Scott Kelly's turn. Hail to American heroes. Scott, well done. Mikhail Kornienko is the last to leave the capsule. 
Now his one-year mission can be considered completed. Mikhail Borisovich, welcome home. Okay, take him. Careful. Put him down. Down, down.